Well, I'm back to keep you posted on the stories that are making headlines in the country. And of course, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. This is The Buzz UG. Subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, Makere University has denied claims that the administration failed to provide transcripts to some students because they went missing. Now, the vice chancellor, Professor Banabas Nawangwe, while reacting to the claim by Uganda Airlines CEO Jennifer Bamuturachi, said the CEO should reach out to the university and access her documents if she's an old student of Makere University. I said I have been to Makere to find my transcript, but the file where all the transcripts for our year, for those of us who haven't picked yet, they cannot trace it because they've moved faculties. So I've been given time to wait until they look for, find it. How much time did they give you? Uh, well, I've been there like three times already. So I keep calling and finding out, yes. and I keep going there. So Madam, when, when you're applying for this job, what, what, what do you present? My certificate. Huh? Certificate. My certificate. Sir, I've been headhunted half my time. And they never ask for your academic I present that. Come to us. A lot of people have come here and said, I need my certificate, they need it at my job. And they immediately go away with their certificates or transcripts. Now, according to Professor Nawangwe, the university has never lost or denied a student their documents, and for those not collected, they prioritize keeping themselves for easy access, a manifestation that has existed since 1926. There is no year from my memory in which we failed to print transcripts. If we had failed for a whole year to, to, to print transcripts for the whole graduation, there would have been a crisis in the country. Meanwhile, Uganda National Examinations Board has also tasked the embattled CEO to use the right channels to get the equivalent of the documents she claims to have lost. It's not there. Where uh, did you sit in a phone? Uh, Kevin the Girls School. It's not there. I will present it tomorrow. I have a document, uh, a letter, which they wrote for me to UNEB because mm. I misplaced it. So I'll bring it. So what, what do, you, do you have the transcript or you have a letter? What do you have? I have a letter and I'm processing because I lost my originals. When I was applying for the job as a commercial director, I had all my originals and I misplaced them. So I've applied. Um, I did a police report and I've used that police report to get a fresh one. So in the case of a loss of a document, you shall require you to get first of all a letter from a letter from police to confirm that the document is lost. Then you are going to go to your former school and get us a letter of introduction to confirm that you are a student of that school in such a at such in such a year that was your index number that you want us to replace your document. Be in hard copy form, and I have to go and check for the files. So it may take quite some time. We don't have them in our soft in our soft soft copy database, but we still have those records, and we will still give them a little verification. Our professor Nawangwe has also distanced the university from a book circulating on social media containing Bamutrachi's name among the list of graduates until the climate brings it to the university to prove its authenticity. So a, page, a, a book or a page in a book can be used, can, should not be used as evidence that somebody graduated unless it has been confirmed by us that it is we who printed it. Finally, Professor Nawangwe further questions the circumstances under which someone enrolls for a master's degree without physically presenting a transcript which Makere University has never allowed to happen. A transcript is a prerequisite because it is the only way we can prove that you actually completed your undergraduate studies. 
Well, there you go. That's the latest update coming in from Jennifer Bamutrachi's camp, uh, the newly appointed CEO of the Uganda Airlines. And of course, trust me, I'll keep you posted on everything that is coming out from uh, that camp right here on the Buzz UG. What you have to do, subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you. Thank you.